everybody, my name is Tucker, and welcome back to our Russian Fishing for Spin Fishing character. Today, I came over to Oldberg, I just had to sit on a 45 minute phone call, doing absolutely nothing, so I did a little bit of fishing. I do have most of it recorded, but uh, today's already going to be a very, very good day, and hopefully we end up with some more fish, so. Been piking over on the spin rod. And then I toss these two feeder rods out with small hooks and red worms, hoping for rough or things like that. I've gotten a couple of nice bream, a couple of decent perches. And the very, very surprising thing, and I'll show it here in a second. And I do have it recorded and I'll put it at the end of the video. Uh, just no commentary, just some music. But uh, we got a squiggly. We got an eel, a 2.821 kilo eel on a size 22 hook with red worm. So not going to lie, I did not expect that, but today's going to be a good day. If you look at my overall catches, I've got a lot of good pike in here. Again, I've got it all recorded. I'll put it at the end of the episode just so you can all see it. Just no commentary, kind of do a catch up from a couple of weeks ago when I mess missed an episode. but. Uh, Today's going to be a very, very good day. So we're over here at Oldberg. We're at uh, 3322, same spot we did some old uh, hiking earlier, kind of at this log, casting over into that area right there. And we've got the X-Crank on here. Wrong button. X-Crank F6002. I've got a retrieval speed of 50, and I'm doing about a half turn. Wait two seconds, two to three seconds. Half turn, got another fish on. And it's been a pretty decent day. Nice little chub there. So hopefully we make a good amount of silver today. And can maybe... I don't think we're going to get quite enough to be able to afford the balsa knife. But we're getting pretty close. And that is the next goal for this character. Is to be able to buy the balsa wood knife. To make the balsam in lures. But I already have 33 fish in the uh, catch net. We're two minutes into the recording, so I kind of need to remember we're starting at 33 or 32, really. I guess 31, because uh, we caught a small perch as well. So I'll probably just use 30 as my starting point for fish per minute. I have been getting, a, as I'm saying it, I have been getting a lot of fish right here at the very end. Uh, not usually a tiny perch like that, but I have gotten a lot of decent pike right here at the very end. So I definitely kind of follow through all the way with the twitching. I don't just twitch through the uh, green stuff that I'm casting into. It's another warm day out there. It's uh, 91 degrees. I'm actually getting this in a little bit early for once. I'm recording this about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Usually it's closer to 7 or 8 before I decide I want to record it. But figured I'd get this done early and enjoy the evening. Because it's, uh, it's been a long couple of weeks for me. Had a... Big deadline thing come up at the four letter W word yesterday. So, is what it is. Got that done. I'm just worn out now. And then have a busy week next week. My boss's boss and my boss's boss's boss are in town. So, I get to go meet them for the first time. They're in new leadership for my boss. My boss is a new leadership to me about the same time they took him on. Be a lot of fun. But that means I actually have to go into the office twice next week. Which I have not been into our buildings in over a year now. Oh, I take it back. I went in when I had a uh, hardware failure on my laptop for a little bit, but that doesn't really count. I haven't been in for meetings or anything like that. Hello. Yep, 
Here we go. I don't know if this is going to be a trophy, but this is definitely a good fit. Yep, this is what I've been waiting for. It's going to continue to make the day all that much worthwhile. Come on, stay on there, fish. It's definitely a pike the way it's fighting. On fishy fish. Come to Tucker. Give me my trophy pike. You owe me game after this week. Oh, I got him out of the water. You done got caught there. 10.499. Not quite a trophy, but man, that's a nice fish. 3,500 XP. Very nice fish. I think the uh, eel was 15,000 XP too. So today has been a very, very good XP day as well too. I'm looking up what a trophy pike is because I know that one's close. I think it's 12 kilos if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's 12 kilos, so that was close, but not quite there. It was a little bit of a rainy day when I got started yesterday, so I'm trying to keep my health up there. And my energy after bringing in that 10 kilo fish. I don't think it was going to rain today in game. I think it was going to rain tomorrow. That's part of why I went ahead and recorded some. But you know the weather, man. They're not always correct. Yeah, it's just going to be cloudy today. That was a weekly record, Pike. Wow. Did not expect that. That means uh, U.S. It's Saturday afternoon, and if I'm getting a weekly record, Pike, that means... More than likely, U.S. is going to close the week without a trophy. Or without uh, the weekly records being trophy pikes. Because that is still pretty substantially off. So. Either way, still a great, great silver day. I'm going to enjoy today in a nice overall uh, XP day. I don't remember where I actually started the day. I'm curious now. I started the day at 97,000 XP out of 1.5, and I'm already up to 131. So it's been a good day. Been an almost 40,000 XP, 35, 40,000 XP day. I will take that. And on only 37 fish, so almost a thousand XP per fish average. Granted, the 15,000 XP on the eel definitely helped that. That was just right here, casting off to the right there. Again, I'll put all the uh, the videos I've got. So I did kind of the spin through the day. Logged in a little bit before noon, fished through the day. Um, I'll put that, and then I got a picture of the eel when I brought it out, just because I did not 
I might have actually started recording before I pulled the eel out just because I knew it was going to be a good fish. Can't remember. And then got a couple of breams as well. So put those all at the end. You'll already be able to see how much money I made by then, though. I'm not going to split it up so that I show all of that with no commentary. You're welcome to watch. You're welcome to not watch. I understand. Again, for me, YouTube is just a fun thing. I'm not making any money off it. Any ads you see are YouTube ads, not money going to Tucker. I'm still more than a third of the way off, or more than two thirds of the way off from even being able to monetize videos if I wanted to. So you got to have a thousand subscribers, and I'm just shy of 300. At least last I checked. I haven't checked in a couple of days. Now I'm curious as I'm saying that. Two ninety nine as of right now. But I've said this many times, YouTube's just a hobby. I would probably be playing the game anyway. And for a while, I was doing two videos a day. I was burning myself out on that. Went back to just one a day, switching back between characters. And that seems to have worked out pretty well for me. My own fish. With it being cloudy, maybe a little bit slow. I did get a couple of snags, so as I said it, I knew that was going to happen. So far, I've been able to free it every time. There we go. So what I do for that is I turn my friction break up one notch, right click a few times, turn it up a little bit more, right click a few times. And usually you're able to break it, especially with an HSV. Not break it, you're able to break free. Had a few times where I can't. And then you can kind of Beat the system by just logging out. Just put your rod down, log out. Or run back to town, sell your fish if you're done for the day and log out. And then you'll be back to normal next time. I'm curious. So weekly hike. Some 18 kilo ones. Yeah, same lure I'm using here at Oldberg. A 17 kilo by Star Mist. And USA Weekly Pike is. Yeah, there have been zero trophy pikes in the United States this week. That's surprising. Someone was very close, but no one yet. Come on, fish. Don't dry up on me now that I'm actually recording. I guess me talking scares the fish off. Because it was almost every cast yesterday. And the weather was worse than this. It might have been warmer. I think it's a little bit cold right now. 10 degrees. And 
And there's a pike. Three kilo pike. Not bad. That bounced off the tree. I don't know if you saw that, but I cast, hit the tree, and it shot off to the right. Yes, I see someone asked me, what am I using? Also the same person that a few minutes ago just came in, wants to know what lure is working. Do some research, folks. Honestly, the spot has been all over VK for the past week with this exact same setup. So if you don't know what VK is, there's a link below. It's kind of like a Russian Facebook style site. And there's a group of folks on here, on there, that uh, are focused for Russian fishing for. And they have links for each individual water body, so you can use that to get an idea of what's worked currently and in the past, usually for trophies. Let's see if he yells at the other person, he just cut a bigger pike too. Come on, fish. There's another one. Not amazing. One point four seven nine. Come on, give me another good pike. We only have 10 fish in the 17 minutes I've been recording this part. Come on, fish. Come on, fishy fish. Give me a good pike. Kind of switching back and forth between holding shift and not holding shift. Wasn't getting anything holding shift for a while, and then I didn't hold shift at that three kilo, kilo pike. But pretty much three quarters of that run was no shift and got nothing. Come on, pikey pike. And honestly, if that uh, person I was asking what lure I'm using was smart, they go look at weekly records and see what lure is being used. Fish, can you fit? 
getting impatient after more time where it was just cast catch a fish cast catch a fish when this spot finally dried up today but it's looking like it's happened Either way, today's a good day. I'm not going to complain. Forty-one fish. I think five of them over four kilos. One of them was a ten kilo, and a squiggly. Another late pike there. That was a small one though. Two fish, so 12 fish in basically 22 minutes. I will probably wrap it up when the sun goes down just because it's going to thunderstorm tomorrow in game. And nighttime is not the best time for pike fishing. Tempted to throw out night crawlers and see if we can get another eel though. I may do that while I kind of combine and add some music to the videos from uh, earlier. Come on, fish. It was around now that things got really good for me yesterday. Our last hour in game yesterday in game. Last real life hour it was towards uh, sunset that things got really busy. And I got the good four kilo pikes. Oh, come on. When I'm seeing someone else catch big fish and I'm not, I get frustrated. If I was catching something, I wouldn't be as frustrated. But not getting anything until now. A decent one. Probably three kilos. 3.8. Take it. Another smaller fish, probably around a kilo, 896 grams. Counting to between three and five every time before doing a half turn in my head. Come on, fish. I'm guessing we're about 
four to five hundred silver already. So it is a good, good day in game. Although today, today in game hasn't been the best. Last hour is a lot better for me. Good old snag to free with only one click on a fairly low friction break, so it's just barely snagged. Six hundred gram sleeper on Telestick. That was a nice fish for that uh, Russian language name. Come on, fish. Come on, fishy fish. Get busy again in the evening like it was yesterday. I want more four or five kilo fish right now. Bone fish. Bite in three, two, one. Bite. Game's not listening to me today. Honestly, I think I'm going to go and wrap it up there. That's enough times not getting anything. But 14 fish, 28 minutes. Not the best, but some decent fish. And then. Yesterday's fish will make up for it as well, too. Today's going to be an overall really, really good day. Got some stuff I got to do this evening, so I might as well get this wrapped up and uploaded now. Especially since it's going to take another 45 minutes to an hour for me to smack some music on the uh, previous section that I already have. So... Again, I'll show the fish that I caught before um, I started recording the episode today. I've got those recorded. I'll put those on here at the end with some music. Looks like the dog's telling me he needs to go out as well, too. So I think it was a good time to wrap things up. 44, sil 44 fish. I'm going to say 450 silver. Only 410. Only, only 410. The 10 kilo pike was uh, 56. The 2.8 kilo eel was 55. Some of those were 25, so not bad at all. We'll take a quick look at the cafe. Uh, didn't get a 4 kilo eel. That would have been nice. Uh, did we get two big chub? Nope. Didn't get eight perch. And nothing else. So nothing for the cafe. But still, 410 silver is nothing to be upset about. It gets us up to 4,100 silver. So, hope you all enjoyed. We'll be back again tomorrow over on the float character. And we'll see you then. Bye-bye now.